Hi everyone and once again thank you for watching to my YouTube video today. I will be talking about one of a very good opportunity to come and immigrate here in Canada. This is called the program of Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot and I already created videos about it but this time I will show you and explain to you how you could immigrate to the beautiful town of Timmins in Ontario, Canada. So what are you waiting for? Please watch this video until the end and hit the subscribe button and also please push the thumbs up and the notification bell so you would get notified whenever I upload a new video. If this is your first time to be watching my videos, my name is Ray and I live here in Alberta, Canada. I also completed an Immigration Practitioner's Diploma. So if you have questions or clarification about ways on how people could come and immigrate to Canada, please feel free to put that in our comment section down below and I will get back to you with the proper answers. The Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot is a community-driven program. It's designed to spread the benefits of economic immigration to smaller communities by creating a path to permanent residence for skilled foreign workers who want to work and live in one of the participating communities. The process is consists of four steps to apply for permanent residence under RNIP. First, you need to check that you meet both IRCC and the community-specific requirements. You also need to find an eligible job with an employer in one of the participating communities. And once you have a job offer, you may submit your application for recommendation to the community. And if the community recommends you, apply for permanent residence. Now let us go through this IRCC eligibility requirements. You must have qualifying work experience or have graduated from a publicly funded post-secondary institution in the recommending community. You must have at least one year of work experience or at least 1,560 work hours in the past three years. For you to calculate your work hours, you may count both part-time and full-time job. You may also have more than one employer, but it has to be the same job. You can also count your work both inside and outside of Canada. And you should have acquired these hours for more than 12 months in the past three years. Also, please take note that those work hours that you actually achieve from being self-employed or from doing voluntary job where you were not paid could not be counted as part of your work hours. The thing about rural and northern immigration pilot for language um, requirements, it actually varies depending on the NOC level that you are applying. So for example, if you're applying for jobs belonging to NOC C and D, you only need to have CLB4. If you're applying for NOC B job levels, you need an NOC5, while for NOC0 and NOC A, you need to have at least um, CLB6. So now let us see what a CLB4 looks like. For IELTS, it's 3.5 in reading, 4.0 in writing, 4.5 in listening, and speaking 4.0. In CELPIP, it has to be 4 in all the aspects, while this is the range for 
TEF or the French exam. The next requirement is the ECA or Educational Credential Assessment, wherein you need to have at least a high school graduate in Canada level. Next is you must prove that you have enough money to support your stay here in Canada. You must also intend to live in the community and meet the community specific requirements. So now let us go to the website of Timmins Ontario. There we could see the most in demand jobs from different sectors for health and social work for trades jobs, licensed or unlicensed, as well as business administration, information technology, and other NOCs that are not written. There are also jobs that are excluded and not eligible for the program. So on jobsintimins.com, we will see the available jobs or openings in Timmins. Surveyor, structural engineer or branch manager, summer student, landing specialist, welder, excavator operator, heavy equipment technician, truck and coach technician, retail sales clerk or consultant, general laborer, traffic control persons, part-time housekeeper, Subcontract sign installer, registered nurse, U ride driver, haul truck operator, personal support workers, therapeutic family home parents, hair stylist, cook, alarm or camera technician, child protection supervisor, program manager of child protection. Heavy Equipment Operator, Client Care Specialist, Security Guard, Customer Support, Laborers, Full-Time Cleaning or Maintenance Person, Fabrication Draftsman, Assistant Residential Counselors, Meat Cutter, Executive Director, Protection Services Professional, Temporary general laborer, construction miners, development miners, parts counter representative, mechanical engineer, registered nurses, crusher operator, occupational health representative, flotation operator, automotive service technician, residential support worker, Security Guards, Technical Outside Sales Representative, Health and Safety Coordinator, Customer Support Representative, SWAT Team, Administrative Assistant, RNs, RPNs or PSWs, Quality Improvement Decision Support Specialist, Senior Contracts Administrator, Certified Occasional Teachers, Sales Associate, Casual Early Childhood Educators, Educational Assistants, Medical Office Assistant, Security Guard, Program Support Worker, Child Protection Worker, Skilled Laborer, Yard Laborer, Delivery Driver, Clerical, Security Guard for Mining, Senior and Junior Security Technicians, Guest Services Agent, Child Protection Worker, Part-Time Drivers, Skilled Carpenter, General Laborer, Program Worker, Machinist, Motor Coach Operator, Lunch Period Attendants, Casual Secretaries, Casual Custodians, Childhood Educators, Educational Assistants, Certified Occasional Teachers, Seniors Contracts Administrator, and others. So these are the jobs that are available 
in the jobs in Timmins website, meaning employers really need people to apply for this position. Once all your documents are complete, you could submit your application to IRCC Rural and Northern Immigration Pilot Program CIO. Thank you very much for watching this video today and I hope that you learned something from it. So please guys, if you are very much interested to learn about Canada immigration, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the thumbs up and share our videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me through our Facebook page or you can put your comments in our comment section down below. Thank you once again and see you next time.